Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So you'll notice that I keep moving my GoPro from like the top to the side to the front. Different places. This helmet is not the greatest for moto vlogging, but it works. So what I did was I connected the little adapter here to the line that goes inside to the microphone and it's okay I uh, I think I'm gonna get one of those Cine helmets because it looks like it has more space on the front it doesn't have like these notches in it like you can't really tell because the way it's painted that it's got the notches in it but it does uh, there must have been some sort of an update the software looks a little different now not sure if I like that or not I wonder if they fix the uh, issue with the microphone like the <coughs> well basically the uh, GoPro when you turn it on with the microphone attached it doesn't record sound sometimes so I'm gonna test that out and see also what I've decided is start recording in 24 frames per second because I'm not really gonna use 60 frames per second I think I've heard it's more natural. Well, let's see if this works. trying to zip up my sleeves. There we go. Oh, we just cut off the entire air supply. <laughs> can't see around this corner because of the bushes that dude was having a yard sale yesterday few days left of nice weather before it starts to get I mean honestly too cold to ride there's like a calculation for riding that says once you get down to a certain temperature the wind chill on a motorcycle reaches a level that you could get frostbite unless you're wearing the proper gear you know, just like anything else, if you're out and about, like in the winter, if you're out in a pair of shorts and uh, flip-flops in the snow, you're gonna, and you're out there for a while, you're gonna get uh, frostbite. 
there's a good chance you're going to get frostbite, a hyperthermia, or anything else like that. Just like a motorcycle, if you're out, I think it's like 45 degrees when you're out that the calculation says you'll, uh, you know, it's like 32 degrees while you're riding at 60 miles an hour. And uh, that's a little chilly. <laughs> and uh, all of the electric heating stuff is either, you know, 250 or more to buy, like a vest or a jacket or a pair of pants or, you know, a set of grips for your bike or a heated seat for your bike. It becomes extremely expensive to stay warm on a motorcycle. Not that it's not worth it, but, you know, do I want to take a chance of getting frostbite? No. Do I want to take a chance of sliding on ice? I don't want to take a chance of that in a car. I've seen some pretty bad accidents because, you know, people weren't paying attention to what they're doing and just ran over somebody or hit somebody. So I'm not willing to do that. I'm going to find other things to vlog about during the winter, the fall especially. You know, it's a time that my family and I like to make crafts and decorate the house and spend time together. That doesn't mean I can't, you know, film some of those things. Oh, they're doing some in the Metro Park today. Anyway. So, I'm out enjoying probably one of the last days I'll get to be out. Next week is supposed to be in the 40s and rainy. Today it's supposed to be in the high 60s, low 70s. It's the thing about Ohio weather is it's holistically unpredictable. However, it's funny though, the, some of the worst months here are like, you know, January and February and that's when they have the motorcycle safety course and you know they expect you to be out there in that stuff no matter what just because you could get caught in it you know when you're out riding <clears throat> he looked happy and i don't blame him it's always important you know when you're taking courses that you experience everything But <laughs> it's not a uh, snowmobile course. So I'm hoping that, you know, if it does come down to that, it's not, uh, it's not something that they'll uh, make them do, you know. Or they could just make them go plow the parking lot that they do it in. Oh, well. Something feels really weird today. I don't know what it is. I mean, it feels good, and it feels weird at the same time. You get all these people who don't live out here coming to the Metro Park because it's got some pretty nice hiking trails. I'll probably do some of that this winter too, but I live out here, so, you know, eh, something I want to do. But I figured, you know, I don't want to waste the day, so go out and have some fun. But somewhere out here, maybe there, is supposed to be like Eric Clapton's house. So he married some local girl, I guess, here that they've had, I guess, some kids. <clears throat> and she maintains a house here to be near her parents. I think they mostly live in England though, so that's still kind of cool. See if anything's changed down this way. 
and check out that bug. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a guy that does body work, paint and stuff over here too. That's pretty sweet. Time for church. Oh, check that dude out. trees over there. I think I'm going to take a random right on the next road I come to. like I've been through here before and you know everything was green so all of the uh, corners being harvested right now it's either seed corn or feed corn it's not uh, not the kind you put on your table <clears throat> you'll notice when you're in a grocery store those stocks are green I think that this runs into route 66 at some point but nowhere near where I'm at <laughs> I smell butterscotch. Oh, you do it. Gravel. And my arch nemesis. A sewer pipe. Uh, I think my bike's gotten used to being in a lower gear. Huh. An electric lawnmower. What will I think of next? That's something you don't see every day. A horse riding crossing. That's where horses ride people across the road. It's good for reach. That's a cool eagle. I like that. Uh, ah, that must be the road. Something feels shitty. Ten miles an hour. What the shit? I know what it is. A really sharp curb. <clears throat> Check that out. They're harvesting. this is an unmarked railway crossing not unmarked but that's one of the kinds that you want to stop at <laughs> ventilating myself just a bit there we go closed her back up dangerous right there man if you don't go that railroad track's at just the right angle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the hell do you suppose that's for? Cage fighting? <laughs> and I think this takes me back towards that main road that I was on. Yield to traffic in the roundabout. There's no traffic in the roundabout. Not yet. Aww. Oh, it's a baby horse. Sorry, dancing with the music. Another metro park. Look at the little dog. <laughs> like the rocks in that trailer are as big as he is. I don't think we're gonna have a very good change in colors this year for the for fall. I think most everything's already brown. Probably missed it back in September. 
I mean, there's still a lot. It's like two different colors, green and brown right now. I haven't seen any oranges or yellows or reds. Oh. a lesson a while ago to take the outside right side of the lane car and bike show October 6th Woo! check that out <clears throat> huh I got something going on wasn't even looking she was looking down what the fuck oh, my head's starting to hurt I think I'm dehydrated and probably something's wrong with my sinuses so probably gonna sign off here since I'm almost home and uh, take a couple of Excedrin get something to drink and maybe I'll go back out but Doubtful. What the fuck? Whatever.